All right. Hello and welcome back. Uh, we actually have a very short episode today. Um, to the next um, column that we're going to be addressing is the moon column here. That's the time column. Uh, moon column, I think it's on the back here. Yes, the moon column. And um, we've already done most of the work for it. In this room here, our room, there was a note in that book down in the forge that said there's a secret panel hidden in here and that by using the zodiac and this lens, we will be able to uh, reveal said panel and subsequently be able to find the key to the moon column. So if we look down here, see this panel, or this uh, slot, I guess. If we put the lens in here, turn this, this panel pops open. Um, and you may notice that these symbols are the same as the symbols that we saw here when we were looking up information on astrology and the stars moving. And there isn't really a true puzzle here. Our puzzle here, all we have to do is enter the various um, zodiac signs in order. So just to make it a little easier, I wrote them down here, but uh, you just start with the first one listed, or you may even be able to go out of order. I haven't tried that before, but um, you just go in order here. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, yes, 10, 11, and 12. This pops open, and we get the moon here. Um, so incredibly easy, only takes a second, or, oh, didn't need to do that. Um, only takes a few seconds once you already have the lens. Um, so we're going to do just a couple of other things while we have a moment. One is that we're going to set this alarm just for a couple hours because it doesn't really matter. There should be an event that occurs, hopefully. What was that? Someone trying to break into Nancy's room. Look in the hallway, we don't see anything, but if we look back at Nancy's door... Scratch marks. Like something was trying to get into my room. Mmm, interesting. Um, now, we can make some phone calls. No one actually has anything interesting to say at this point, but I am going to call this uh, author, because I think this scene's a little bit funny. Can you hold on for a minute? Back! Get back! Ben, can you get them back in his cage? No, the wolf bane isn't working either! I'm sorry, uh, one of my patients has escaped. Can you call me back later? Thanks. <laughs> um, okay. And everyone else, if we call them, they just say hello and goodbye. Uh, Jane has nothing to offer us. We can talk to the lady of the house here. Let's say hello. Linda, how are you doing? I've been hearing things. Music. Very faint. Very brief. Out of nowhere, going nowhere, like bells in a faraway church. I think this was us playing with that uh, statue in the hall that controlled um, the Mercury statue. Actually, that was me. You? It's kind of a long story. Um, all right, so we can ask her about the passageway, which uh, won't really tell, tell us me anything. Again how you opened up that secret passageway? Not on your life. I've already said too much. <laughs> And we can say this. You know, no matter how incredible or frightening things may appear, there's almost always a logical, sometimes even simple, explanation. You don't know everything, Nancy Drew. And in my case, you don't know anything at all. I want you to go home. It's for your own good. Hmm. Let's see how well this works. If you agree to open this curtain and let me see you, I'll agree to go home. You're hardly in a position to bargain. I'll just call my mother and tell her I don't want you here, and that'll be that. In the meantime, 
please leave my room and don't bother to come back. There's no mystery here, just fate. I have nothing more to say to you, nothing. Fair enough, I guess we have been dismissed. Alrighty, um, so we can say just a couple more hellos. Um, one is to Miss Drake here. Alright. Yes? Do you believe that Blackmore Manor is haunted? <coughs> no, of course not. I've lived here for many, many years, and I can tell you without a doubt that absolutely no ghosts walk these halls. An occasional odd creak here and there, yes, but no ghosts. Okay. Goodbye. Run along. And finally, we can say hello to Master Nigel, who, last we really saw him, was running away after we caused the statue of Mercury to move around. Ah, there you are. I'm sorry to inform you that I shall soon be leaving, Blackmore. I just have a few things to take care of, and then I shall bid you adieu. Why? Where are you going? I have good reason to believe this place is genuinely haunted. There's no way I'm staying here one minute longer than I have to. Thankfully, I've finished most of my research and have enough to start my book. <laughs> All right. I'll let you get back to your work. Goodbye. You can see that he has covered the statue of Mercury in a sheet. Um, but, all right, that's just about the end of our updates here. Just for tradition's sake, we can put this in. Open the column and have um, this pipe revealed to us. But uh, now we will end things there with four, right? One, two, three, four of our um, column keys collected and in the next video we'll get uh, our next key but until then see you